Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are an existing subscriber, well, thank you. And I know you like deep learning. If you are not a subscriber, this would be a great time to hit the subscribe button. And uh, why? Because I know you're interested in AI. You're watching this video and you may as well learn how to code your own AI stuff. Okay, let me jump into the topic of this video, which is I'm going to show you seven AI powered, both fun and useful web applications. These are some of the bookmarks that I already have as on my browser. And I occasionally reach out to these web pages, both for fun and for some work. You know, that's why they're useful. Okay, let me go ahead and jump in without wasting any of your time. And let me start by the first one, which is this person does not exist dot com and it does exactly what it says this person doesn't exist so it's going to generate so i'm going to click the refresh image button and it's going to give me a face of something someone not something but someone but that person does not exist this is completely computer generated uh, i believe using the generative adversarial neural network approach and to find this web page you can look at the details down uh, uh, under this video so i'll leave the link to all of the pages that i'm going to show you right now or you can just google search this person does not exist and it will probably show you uh, lead you to this page uh, right away okay so this is another another person that it actually created if you look at the background you can kind of tell that hey maybe something fishy is going on with this image but if you just look at the facial features they are all kind of you know the eye colors are matching and the lighting is matching uh, the reflection in the eye eyes uh, it's it's tough to tell if this is a real or a fake image so these guys are doing an amazing job as you can see uh, right here uh, we'll leave with this. Uh, so this is the last person, uh, kind of ugly haircut over there, uh, but uh, it looks very realistic. Now, uh, again, this is for fun. Maybe you can use this. Uh, go ahead and uh, anytime you use any of these, look, look at the terms and conditions to see if you can use it for uh, commercial, non-commercial purposes. Most of the time, it's okay for you to use it for non-commercial purposes. Moving on to the next one, AI uh text to voice converter so this is bigspeak.ai and again it generates english speech from your text and i believe the free version gives you 300 characters once you log in you get like 1000 characters that you can kind of use for uh to convert to voice and I, i'm pretty sure they have some paid versions and i should mention uh none of these are sponsored content uh in fact none of them know that i exist so this is not paid or anything this is just the fun stuff that i really like to communicate with you guys okay so let's go ahead and type in just to in the interest of time i already typed digital Srini is an amazing youtube channel for python which it is so that's why you should subscribe okay let's convert that into a male voice you can use male let's actually do us female it also does different accents let's do us female voice i'm not a robot so go ahead and generate it and for this to listen to this, I may have to increase the volume of my screen here. So let's do that. So it gets picked up by the microphone here. Digital Zrini is an amazing YouTube channel for Python. Um, I mean, it's kind of realistic. You can tell it's a bit synthetic. Let me turn the volume down. So I don't get surprised. Okay. So you can tell that this is still kind of synthetic generated voice but it's 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 pretty amazing and this can be very useful if you come from a place where you have very thick accent and it and 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 you find that uh, you're creating some content and you uh, you need some audio where you have uh, a neutral accent well i say neutral everyone's got an accent i say neutral uh, in the mean, in the sense uh, most people on the face of earth would be able to understand then this can be a good way uh, good tool and i'm pretty sure they have paid versions also Okay, moving on to the next one that I really, really like. This one is called Magic Eraser. It removes unwanted things from images. And it does exactly that, right? So I downloaded a random image from, uh, from Google search. And here it is. So there's a nice penguins doing their thing. And there is this uh, seal that's actually photobombing this. And I don't want this. In fact, it looks pretty cute. But uh, let's say I don't want this in my image. All I do is just do that. And then hit Erase and there you go it's gone it's like i mean look how realistic this is look at the rocks in the behind that seal 
So this is a, obviously AI powered and it's learning from the surroundings and it's actually replacing those pixels wherever the seal was with something that is very seamless. So this is uh, another one and now let's go on to the fourth one which is crayon. You probably know this, you heard of this. If, you, if not, you probably heard of the term Dolly and this is basically the mobile or Dolly mini version right here. You can type anything. So I, I uh, just before I started this video, I just typed monkey fighting with a fish. I, it's actually, I don't know if it's fighting, but yeah, there it is fighting, right? So you can generate these uh, images, synthetic images, based on whatever you type here. So this is text to image translation type of application right here. It's fun, go ahead and play with this. Um, okay, so the next one, writer is something that is super amazing if you want to enhance your writing skills, not even enhance your writing skills, you know. I typically use Grammarly for my, uh, to check if my content, any written content, needs any improvement when it comes uh, to not just spelling mistakes. I think over time I got much better at typing correctly and also Word and other processors kind of tell you if you misspell something, but if you need grammar help, then Grammarly can help. But this one takes it to the next level. This is not just correcting what you have right there. It's actually giving you or are supposed to give you a better version of what you have written here. So there are various things that you can actually, themes that you can select from, I select a product description and I want my product to be, oh God, why did I do that? I want my product to be digital screeny. As soon as I did the selection, it erased what I typed. I was trying to save time for you guys, but let's go ahead and type something. I'll try to speed up this while I'm typing, yeah, uh, as part of the video. Digital. Okay, so I just typed some couple of sentences. Digital Screen is an amazing resource for Python coding. It teaches you from basics to advanced deep learning. Now I wanna convert this into a nice value proposition. Let's see if Write can help us with that. I chose uh, it to give me two variants. You can choose multiple variants and uh, it only gave me one right there. So the second one is like Python. So let's, uh, uh, Let's read this. Designers, developers, and entrepreneurs get coding for free with digital streaming tutorials and live streaming. Learn from experienced coders on the best framework in the world. Well, I'm the only experienced coder that's actually teaching you this, but yeah, that's a good sentence. Pick up new skills fast with video lessons. So you get the idea. It's taking something like a couple of statements right there and putting it in a very nice way that I can go ahead and uh, use it if I want to advertise my channel. I know I don't do a good job advertising my channel, uh, but uh, if, I, if I really put, want to put focus, then this can be good inspiration right there. Let me add one more sentence uh, to this and see uh, how it evolves. And then uh, I'm spending a bit more time on this because I know this will be the most useful one of all the ones that I'm going to show you uh, right now. So uh, it teaches you from uh, basics to advanced uh, deep learning. It makes uh, learning to code fun. I, d I have no clue if that's going to change anything. So write for me. It's writing. Okay. It added another one that says why learn Python when you can learn it in one place. With digital screening, you can code in Python, develop machine learning algorithms and more, learn a new language or deepen your skills with our intuitive. I love this. I absolutely love this, right? So it gives you nice ideas and probably I'll take this and then massage it to get much better messaging. But this, this is giving me a lot of ideas already in terms of how I should be positioning my product if my product is digital screening service. Uh, that I'm providing via YouTube. Okay, now talking about products and services, what if I wanna start my business and I need a nice name? What if I wanna start a business about using deep learning for image analysis and I need a cool name for my product uh, or my business, my company? So then the next one fits in. This is Namelix, N-A-M-E-L-I-X. Again, I'll leave the link as part of uh, the description. And I typed, uh, okay, give me a business name based on AI, right? So deep learning image analysis is what I want to do and let's click generate. And it's asking me what type of randomness would you like to have? Less random means more direct name ideas. Maybe it will just give me the, you know, uh, image analysis, deep learning or something. Uh, I want a good balance between completely being creative or random and uh, to bland medium. So let's go ahead and generate this. Oh, that's pretty fast. 
So these are, it says add, so they're probably all sponsored. You see how if I wanna get pick insight uh, domain, it's $1,995, well, $1,995. And these are all paid ones, but here it's giving, uh, you still need to need to pay if you wanna register the domain and all that. But uh, I'm just looking for ideas at this point. So Zetex, Brainalytics. Well, if I'm working with uh, microscopy image analysis, looking at neurons, then Brainalytics is not a bad name, actually. I love that. Learn Data, Intellist, Seapoint, Seamless, X sense and so on. And again, go back, change it, and uh, get a few ideas if you're starting a business. So the two good tools I already showed you, one name generator, the other one writer, that gives you beautiful paragraphs. If you are writing abstract, this can be a good asset for you. Okay, and finally, the seventh one, uh, there are actually two. One is called uh, letsenhance.io and the other one is AI Image Enhancer. They both do exactly the same thing. Think of this as super resolution. You have a nice uh, blurry image, it's going to be enhanced. So in case you wanna print it and expand it into a large size, then this can be very helpful, right? So that's why you typically enhance your images. So uh, let's let's uh, you need to sign up to do anything and I think you get like 10 images for free. I already used up a couple in testing and uh, you see eight credits left right there. Uh, if you want, you can pay for this. If you really think this is solving a problem uh, or you have hundreds of images that need enhancement, then you can use this. Okay, I am picking my own image uh, as a, when I was a kid, yeah, all black and white images until I got to, I don't know, my college. So back in early 90s, we are actually 80s. Uh, this one was from 70s, by the way. Okay, so this is an image that's not bad, but if I wanna print this into a very large size, put it on the wall behind me, then this will be very blurry and pixelated if I do that. So let's go ahead and drag, I'll leave this image, uh, let's close it. Let's drag this onto the screen here and let's click start processing. I don't even want to click any of these. I'm pretty sure we can, adjust some of these parameters. I don't know what light AI is, uh, balance out the colors and fix lightning. Yeah, they have a few tone enhancement uh, models, color enhancement models. This is a black and white image, so as, as uh, straightforward as it can be. Um, yeah, it's ready. So the original image was 1453 by 1802, and the enhanced image is uh, 3K by 4K almost. So let's go ahead and download it and let's compare both images. So let's open this one. Uh, oh, sorry, what happened? Let's go back here, open this image, and let's go back to downloads. This is where the enhanced image is, and let's compare these two images. And they may look almost identical when you look at them, but uh, let me zoom in and you can see, for example, look at this racket that's in my hand, that was in my hand and you see how it's already enhanced right there. And also in the eyes, you know, they're much sharper. So this is a much more enhanced image. So if I keep zooming in, it looks much better and not blurred anymore. So it's very realistic. Okay, enough about these AI image enlargers. So I promised you seven uh, web pages. I gave you eight pages right here. And let me also throw in the additional one, but this is not a web application. This is more of a uh, mobile application, but this is by, uh, this is from uh, experiments with Google and it's a thing translator. What, what does that mean? Well, you just uh, point your camera on your mobile phone at whatever and it tells you exactly what it is in uh, a language of your choice. So it's not just a object detection and just putting a name, it actually translates it into any language. So it can be a very useful thing when you are traveling. You can just point at something and say, hey, uh, shoe in Spanish. I don't know what shoe is in Spanish, but you're in India. I don't know if it has Hindi there. You can just show and then juta right? So you can uh, uh, point that. And uh, I cannot demonstrate that because it works on your phone. So go ahead and check this out. Okay, guys, there you go. The seven plus two, I would say, uh, nine web pages that you can play with. Uh, fun stuff to do when you're kind of bored or even not bored. Fun things to explore to see the power of AI. And if you're not already learning about AI, you can see how AI is going to be everywhere. So you better start learning to code and my channel can be a great place. Of course, if you don't like my style of teaching, there are a million other channels on YouTube. Find the one that works for you 
and uh, learn how to code. Okay, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's meet again in the next video.